see that incredible move in Grubhub yesterday? Hey, <laughs> not that it wasn't up again today. The nation's largest online food delivery platform saw its stock pole vault up more than 11% in the wake of a very impressive quarter. How'd they do it? For all the Luddites in the audience who aren't familiar with these guys, Grubhub, or their seamless subsidiary in New York City, is the web well, is the website you go to if you want to order takeout or delivery online. It's quick and it's painless, especially for millennials who hate getting on the phone with another human being, although I love it too. Grubhub's network connects over 75,000 restaurants with 9.8 million consumers across roughly 1,300 cities. They've been gobbling up smaller players in adjacent categories for years now, including huge repositories of menu information like allmenus.com, menupages.com. Back in August, the company announced a breakthrough long-term partnership with Yelp. And I told you it could be a game changer when I came out here because I love this deal. People can go to Yelp's reviews and then immediately order from Grubhub. They're going to get a lot more business from this. Yesterday morning, Grubhub delivered some terrific numbers. It was a four cent earnings beat off a 24 cent basis, higher than expected revenue, up 32 percent year over year. Daily average users increased by 14 percent. That's a great metric. Gross food sales rose by 18 percent. Size of the restaurant network grew by 60 percent year over year. More important, management issued a dramatically stronger than anticipated sales forecast for the next quarter. I like this company. After the move, the stock, well, it's now up a whopping 57 percent for the year. Can it keep flying? Let's take a closer look with Matt Maloney, the CEO of Grubhub, to learn more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Maloney, welcome back to Man Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you again. Well, you guys have a seat. You guys are truly delivering, and I think the Yelp partnership may be game, set, match for the whole country. Yeah, you know, that's kind of one of the, 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 one of the big news is that hasn't really been talked about a lot. The acquisitions were awesome. The integrations, right. I mean, the, the jump was was big because we crushed the numbers. 32% right. year over year on a large base, 163 million in the quarter. Yeah. But we also closed three acquisitions simultaneously, rolled them all in and we're pushing forward. But I'm with you. What I'm most excited about is the Yelp partnership. Yelp had 40,000 restaurants you could order delivery from right. through the E24 arrangement. Right. We're gonna double that to 75,000 like you said. And this is exclusive, right? So what's happened is when you first came public, I remember turning to David Faber and saying, anybody could be Grubhub. That may have been a few years ago, but now only Grubhub can be Grubhub. It, it's about scale. Yes. And we have yeah. dramatically more restaurants than anyone else. We're, we're, we're in, a, what was it, a, a, a 1,300 cities across the country. More than half of those we're doing delivery in. We have the deepest and the broadest network possible. And now with the Yelp partnership, they have over 100 million diners every month, or people every month looking, and, and what is it, 70% of them are looking for restaurants? People want to order. And so that's where we bring our orders in, and that's where you're going to see increased conversion, increased performance on Yelp, the whole thing, it's going to be great. No, you're still spending a lot by your own admission, right? In the console, you say you're spending a lot. Sure. Is that to make it so that everybody knows, listen, you can, you can try, but don't. You won't be able to beat us. The reason we're spending so much is because the last numbers that came out about the industry yeah. is 200 million annually, just domestic, spent in takeout and food delivery. Wow. We're on track to do around $4 billion. So 200 billion, 4 billion, four billion, and we're by far the largest in the space. So there's so much room, so much room to go. We could, we could 10x this company, and it still wouldn't even barely touch the. Well, let, let's talk about the ethos. It, Ten years ago, right? We wanted to go out. Five years ago, we wanted to go out. Now we are too old, and we don't matter. <laughs> the, but the younger people, uniquely, is it money? Is it they love Netflix? Is it the video games? Why are people like, you, I don't know if you saw Buffalo Wild Wings numbers, the amount of takeout, just quarter to quarter. It, it, Big it's, partner of ours. It's just cool, I know, that's what I'm into. It's yeah. like, boom, what happened? These are not glacial. These numbers, quarter to quarter, every day there are more people taking out than the day before. Yep. What It's gonna keep going. What's going on is people realize that they can actually get high quality delivery food from their local restaurants on a daily basis. Before, I mean, here, I look at, I look at Manhattan as the ultimate example of delivery culture. Okay. People in Manhattan order every day, multiple times a day, yeah. frequently. So you look at Denver, another like great market, people order about once a month. What? <laughs> Yeah, it's different because you just... I order like three times a day. Yeah, but you don't have the diversity of choice. You don't have the right. hours. You don't have the low transactional fees. The things so you're that, saying they don't have the infrastructure? They don't have the infrastructure. And so, you supply so the infrastructure. So we bring the infrastructure. 
all of a sudden you can get whatever the hell you want from any restaurant at a very low transaction. But you fee. do like tier one, tier two. I mean, it's like China with you. Like, what's how big is a tier three city? It's, you know what? It, it, that's our internal jargon. I it's like really it. about when we oh, launch. Come on, it's cool jargon. So, <laughs> tier one are the markets we've been in for like ten years. Okay. Tier okay. two, they're going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, like I would call Denver tier two, but right. it's a fantastic market for us. We just entered it. Uh, later, and then mm -hmm. tier three and beyond is really where we're, we're really just stretching out and, and bringing this for the first time for, for uh, some Okay, families. so I'm Postmates, I'm Uber Eats, I'm watching this guy, Matt, and he thinks he's really hot, and I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna go into these cities, his tier one cities, and I'm gonna give it away for the next year and go wipe out Grubhub. Possible? No, this is what they've been doing. They've been doing that, they, what was it? How many billions of dollars have been wasted that VCs spent on these companies? It is billions. And they've thrown it away. <laughs> it's and then true. they pull back from the markets because you know what? It's not about the promos. People want to connect with their restaurants. It's about the service. Okay. And the only thing we do is we connect diners to their restaurants. So all of our platforms are, are perfectly built just for that interaction. Okay, so how about I create my restaurant and have it in a Grubhub hub and I get it at the top of the list? How much would that cost me to do? The, the, so here's the way we think about it. There's a I minimum, want to make sandwiches there's, there's, at, a, at a company that you provide, get, and get, then I'm right at the top of the queue. There's a minimum in order to be on the platform, okay. to be able to access the platform. Mm -hmm. And then if you do a better job, you get more exposure, because we want diners to find you if they're going to be happy and satisfied. Right. Then if you want to grow your so business. So it is a meritocracy. Yes, absolutely. There's, there's elements of a meritocracy, right. but you can also pay me for higher exposure. So there's right. lots of sponsored placements on the sort, on the homepage, on the CRM, the emails I send to diners. Uh, if you're going to pay me more for more exposure, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you get exposure in the diners that you want to grow your business in. I'm here to help you. No, I, actually, I know it's, I own a restaurant and it's actually true. <laughs> You, because everybody makes more money yep. with Grubhub. All right, that's Matt Maloney. He's the founder and CEO of Grubhub, and it is a fabulous story. I want to congratulate you. There's a lot of people doubted you. A lot of people doubted you. And the numbers you put up yesterday were stellar. Great work. Thank you. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.